These are protégés of the famous mid-heavyweight champion of uh, Great Britain and the world, Mike Marino, who has trained them right up through the amateur years, about three, six years, I think, at the Eltham Amateur Wrestling Club. And this is their first ever go at a televised bout. What a, an afternoon it must be for them. You won't find, of course, a lot of experience here, naturally, but I think you'll find a certain amount of speed, and uh, when you're a protege of Mike Marino, you've got to be up-and-coming technicians, that's for sure. Nice and strong, finally. Took him a bit of time to figure out how to do it, but he got there. Yes, yes, that's so neat. Quick with the arm roll. Giving away a lot of weight and height here. And Dino with the blonde hair. Dino Scarlo, the same famous wrestling family as... Of course, Tony Scarlo, the well-known welterweight. Just one minute to go in this first round of six three-minute rounds. Novice's length of round, three minutes. Say at the moment that Dino Scarlo has been the best of this boy here, this Steve Kelly. But let's see what happens. Back hammer now to him. It's this man down all right, but he, I don't think he can turn him. He's got 20 seconds to try and make it. Nice grip with the head scissors by Scarlo. Don't think you need to bother any more in this round. No. Dino Scarlo, March of this year, his 16th birthday. Ten stone eight, and of course swears by everything the great Mike Marino has taught him. And Mike Marino's nurtured these two boys up from the start of first year in amateurs. Round two, five rounds to go, all at three minutes. And of course, one fall. The first fall decides it. This time, Steve Kelly taking a side headlock. The bell. Young Scarlo gets out of trouble pretty neatly, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. And, oh, yes. Great head mayor. Beautiful head mayor. Thought he was going for a flying tackle then, but no, he was reaching for the head mayor and got it. And a try again. <laughs> One day, Grapple fans, when we watch these two boys on... The television screen, wrestling perhaps more experienced men will remember this. This initiation of theirs, this debut. Of course, it seems slow, comparatively slow to the professionals, naturally. All these boys are turning pro, they are. The lack of experience naturally they will think out each move. Nearest to a pinfall yet by Kelly. Getting his shoulder blade off each time. Notice that these neither of these boys have even started to think about bending the rules yet. Let's hope it's a long time before they have to. If they ever have to. It's a great arm roll by Dino Scarlo. It's the second time he's operated that. 
neatly over the back and holding on to that uh, double wrist lock when he's got there. Less than a minute now in round two. So you don't really know much about these two fellows yet. Didn't even expect them to be on this afternoon. One, two, but, uh, the other three bouts on the bill together, they underran, so we had to have... Because this is something for the book, this one. That's Carlo again with a folded leg, and he's got 15 seconds. Nice turn there by Scarlo on the other side when he forced to, but he's on the bell now. Ay, 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 the bell stops him after he's just got that leg through, the bar through the uh, figure four leg lock. Got it on so nicely that unfortunately for him, and fortunately for his opponent Kelly, the bell went at that precise moment. This is very good looking boy, Steve Kelly, much taller and a great deal heavier than his opponent, but I think possibly having a little trouble here so far. The second out, round out three. Round three, four rounds to go. One fall decides it. Scarlo in the dark gear. Against the tall blonde Steve Kelly. From Bexter Heath. Curiously enough, although, the Bexley Heath boy, Steve Kelly, seems to be getting the worst of it most of the time. He's got nearest to two pinfalls, much nearer than his opponent has. Oh, I thought a flying tackle was coming then, but no, the inside of the forearm came. Oh, both men out. Both men mistimed, and both men out. Now, how have they landed? And a bad landing by Scarlo, definitely the left hook, and he's gonna, both going to be counted out. Well... What a curious finish, unfortunate finish to what was a really good novice contest there. And Mike Judd gets into the ring to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately both men have failed to beat the count, but I know that everyone here will give a very big hand for both Pino Scarlo and Steve Kelly. Thank you, Mike Judd, and with a nice hand for the two novices there. We hope you enjoyed watching them and the rest of our bill this afternoon as much as we did at Ringside. Goodbye from all of us at Edmonton. Have a good time, and see you Saturday. I didn't tell you before, ladies and gentlemen, uh, but both these boys are related. Dino Scarlo is the nephew of Tony Scarlo. I'm sure you give Dino Scarlo once again a very big hand, please. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the son of Peter Kelly, young Steve Kelly. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you agree with me that these two youngsters should prove to be stars of the future. So give them another big round of applause. Dino Scarlo and Steve... Kelly.